Over to Scott. Fat welfare moms on dust. Yep. There's no way it's a horse's name, but I'm picking a horse's name because it'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look at him go! He's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> flying. <laughs> Ooh, something's really got into these this fat welfare moms on dust. <laughs> Look at that. See, now I'm really starting to get suspicious. Somebody order a pizza. Welcome to the I Know Bado podcast. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the I Know Bado podcast coming at you from the Slice on Oak Studios. I am Mayor Dave Bado of the City of Brainerd. With me, as always, is my brother, Ditz McGee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gabriel Johnson. I see you over there. Couches are expensive. Oh, yeah? Oof. Yeah, my daughter's moving into her own place. Okay. Went to just look at a six-foot couch with a chase on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think it costs? Ashley Furniture. $1,200. 14 32 Thir- Wow. Louise. Are you out of your mind? At Ashley Furniture. This isn't, You're this isn't the high-end stuff. You're out of your mind. All right. Well. They are. <laughs> 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 All right. And over here with us. It's been a while. It has. One, Bill Satry, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bill, as always, 30 seconds to explain yourself. Go. I need to know why it's been so long since you've had me on the show. What did I do? Did I offend you? Did I hurt your it's feelings? the coconut <laughs> candy. What <laughs> is it? Yeah. Is it I have the banana whole, stories. By the way, I have yeah. a whole box of mounds ready to go for Halloween. Well, good I choice. All ready to go. I'm not going to share them with the kids. Okay. Those are for me. The kids don't like them. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut, you know? <laughs> and that's all right. <laughs> well, you say that, but what, so we were at we had a police versus firefighter softball game, and I got a bunch of donuts from the senior center. Mm-hmm. The, the seniors or in our area bake donuts every Thursday, best donuts in town. Um, but at the end of the night, only the German chocolate cake ones with the coconut were left. So I ended up having to bring home a box and a half of German chocolate cake donuts. Mm-hmm. Could not get my kids to eat chocolate <laughs> cake. Not touching it. I had to scrape the the coconut Those off are of there. Good donuts. They're the, they're actually, I will argue, one of the best donuts. And my kids refuse to eat them. So. Okay, now this happens at work too. When we okay. get the donuts at work, those are the ones that get left behind. I don't get it. I a coconut is divisive. So mm-hmm. so there's your answer. There it is. No, We're talking about fucking <laughs> coconut. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Again. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, everyone knows what time it is. What time is it? Game time. Who? I like that you said what time is it? Because that's why you're not welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we played a game last week, uh, but we are going to play another game this week because this is the game that I was preparing for specifically you, Bill Satry. Oh, God. Uh, this you better is, win. This is a game that I have nervous. absolutely stolen from the internet. Um, however, we're going to put a little spin on it of our own, which mm-hmm. is that we're just going to do it ourselves. <laughs> 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 the spin what? is we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is rock, race, or romp. Oh. Hmm. So this game is uh, I have a list of names, and you're gonna tell me if it is a rock band, a racehorse, or an adult film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of these. Oh. And you wonder why ChatGPT was <laughs> like, hey, you think you're violating our rules. <laughs> so what we've learned to do is that I make my list and then I put it in ChatGPT and then I say shuffle this. And shuffle it, shuffle it again so that they're all mixed up. Make it a little bit more rapey and shuffle it. <laughs> and it did shuffle them, but it kept telling me, hey, I think this is against our user policy. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh I think it was mainly because I had to identify if they were actually a porno or not. So maybe the word porno 15 times that would in, do a, it. in a document yeah. will flag yeah. you real quick. All right, Bill, it's been a long time since you've been here. You're some, right. I, had, I don't remember. Some have said it's been a while. It's been a while. However, I'm worried that you may not remember the one role of the podcast. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. That sound is what I want to hear. Bill, there's one rule on the podcast. Yeah. If you win the game, yes. I'm going to say... Bill, say something to your fans. When I say that, you must say, 
hello and congratulations. If you say anything other than hello and congratulations, you lose and I win. Are we prepared? Hello and congratulations. I there you go. That. Okay. It's a very, very simple game. Mm -hmm. You're just going to tell me which one you think it is, and then we're going to award points, and at some point we're going to have a championship round, and somebody's going to win. I feel like this is a setup. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready, folks? <laughs> yes. All right. Our first name, two in the pink. Oh. <laughs> Who's first? Uh, Bill, I'll let you go first since you're our guest. <sighs> and the options are race. Horse. I'm sorry, rock, race, or romp? Rock, race, or romp. Yes. So you're going to have, is it a racehorse? Is it a rock band? Or is it a mm -hmm. adult film? Mm -hmm. All could be possible in this case. I'm going to give this one a racehorse. He says it's a racehorse. I agree. You agree. That's what I wanted to say, but I'm going to. Okay. It's a racehorse. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, points all around. Okay. Two in the pink is a racehorse. Uh, I'm going to say this, that I tried to double check on some of these to see, to make sure they were real. Because a lot of these I was just going off of what the internet told me was was true. Mm -hmm. Um I lost interest in that about halfway through. So some of these might just be complete bullshit. Wow. Racehorses have wild names. Though, yeah. So they're. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to try and make sure, you know, but at the same time. Uh, you always who, wonder who where, where they yeah. come up with the names for some of the racehorses, too, because. It's Adult like, films. I think I got that one. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Female genitalia. <laughs> well, here's another one for you. Adios pantalones. Adios pantalones. Pantalones. <sighs> Rock band. He says rock band. What he gave. Romp. He says romp. Uh, that's a horse. He says a horse. Oddly enough, that is both a band and a horse. What? It is not a porno. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> sort of? Yeah. We'll go with it. Uh, that was the one that I lost interest on double checking because, <laughs> oh, oh, well, some of these are just everything. Uh, yes. <laughs> not a porno, though. The grilled cheese fiasco. That's a rock band. <laughs> God, I hope it's a porno. Oh, a fellow checker, eh? I said rock band. It's on you. I, yeah, I, I'm waiting. I'm trying to just sit still. Yeah. God, I hope it's a porno. You're going with porno? Yeah, he's going yeah. with porno. <clears throat> I don't think it's a rock band. Okay. That's too similar to the string cheese incident. Oh. Oh. Logic. Um, and I, because I desperately want it to be, I'm guessing that it's a porno. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabe Johnson, you have tied it up. Oh. It is a rock band. Damn. The grilled cheese fiasco. Man. I wanted <laughs> it to just be grilled cheese fiasco and get the the out of there. Because when you throw the the in there, it's hard to make it a horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, But yeah, you know. Now I have a whole script I'm working on. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, chat GPT, write me a porno. <laughs> oh, a grilled, <laughs> yeah. grilled cheese. You got a little American on your dong. <laughs> it's wiggin' a wiggin' a wiggin' a whack. Speaking of American. Yes. American booty. Now, now naturally, the, you would think that would be a porno. You would think naturally. it was all of them. <laughs> you, you, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's a band. He says a band over to, over to Scott. That's got to be a porno. He says porno. Yeah, it probably came out shortly after American Beauty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you do. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Could have gone the other I, I way. I initially thought racehorse, but since of... American beauty. I'm I'm going porno. He's going porno. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a porno. Right. American booty. Natural. I just thought that was too easy. That was like the easy answer. You know. A little bit. But at I the same time, though, that's kind of the fun with it. Sometimes you gotta make them so yeah. yeah. Are we are we not? <laughs> well, we'll just keep going because mm -hmm. there's uh there's plenty to go here, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. How about angry amputees? Whose turn is it? I think, <laughs> I, I it's, my, it's mine. I think it's Scott. Okay. Angry. I hope that is a porno. <laughs> Angry amputees. That has to be a band name. He's going band. I'm going band. It's a going band as well. It's not a horse. <laughs> At least not a very successful one. <laughs> 
Uh, it's got to be a band. It's got to be a band. All around, band. it is a band, yeah, folks. Okay. We are still tied, three points apiece. Just can't see um, that one being a horse. If it was a horse, it would be called glue. <laughs> but uh, that's yep. neither here nor there. That's yeah, true. All right, Gabe Johnson, you're first on this one. Lickety split. Horse. He says horse. Um, Band. Band over to Scott. Just to keep it interesting, that's a porno. Okay. I mean, it probably is a porno. However, horse for Gabe Johnson. It's a porn shop in Minneapolis. Yeah, it oh. is. Yeah. yeah. Well, heard. it used to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> used to I be. heard. Used to be. Uh, so I have only been to two strip clubs in my entire existence. Well, I'll take it back. I've been to strip clubs twice. Um, the one time we went to two different strip clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, in my strip club experience, uh, it was my brother's bachelor party. We went to a strip club downtown Minneapolis, which is where my college was. And Which one? Uh, which college did I go to or which strip club? Which strip club? Uh, we went to... <laughs> What's the main one down there? Deja Vu. Deja Vu. We went mm -hmm. to Deja Vu, and, and this is where this incident happened. And then we went to Sheik's, it used to be called. Yeah. A little bit more upscale, mm -hmm. only topless. You um, wore a jacket and to get in? It was, yeah. it was a, little, a little swanky, yeah. little swanky yeah. especially for you know the bachelor party coming <laughs> in from up <laughs> north. A little swanky. Uh, but then, of course, come Monday at school, I'm walking down the hall and made eye contact with one of the girls, and it was one of the most awkward and enjoyable experiences of my <laughs> life. We just locked eyes, and she just like kind of did the don't you dare, and I just kind of gave uh, like a half smirk and just kept walking. <laughs> and I don't think I ever saw her again. She <laughs> transferred. <laughs> she, she transferred right out of school. Very attractive young lady. Yeah. But uh, And you know, paying for herself through college, uh, fully support, mm -hmm. fully support, making good, making good income. But it was it was having only been to that small. I have such a small sample size of of strip clubs. Yeah, I've then, been to like eight this year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just never. I've never like really got it myself. I mean, I get it. Boobs are great. In like two days in New Orleans, I don't like. I'm not like a aficionado. <laughs> that sounds, like, <laughs> sounds like hey, where else are we going? Uh, but yeah, yeah. Right That's how afterwards. rumors get started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From Saturday to Monday. All right. Uh, who went first there? That was Gabe first on that one. Mm -hmm. So this is over to Bill Satry riding Miss Daisy. Oh. That one is a horse. Yeah. I think I've heard of that one. Okay. Mm. I mean, I don't think it would be a very good porno if it's based on the source material. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, who's who's the driver in that? Is that is that uh, Nick Cage? Is that the one Nick Cage or is that the no, one? No, Miss Daisy's like Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Nick yeah. Cage is in one that's the same concept though. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with the horse. He's going with horse over to Gabriel Johnson. Yeah, I'll go horse. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a porno. Oh, oh. Just a simple, simple porno. Now at, doesn't sound very simple. <laughs> well. <laughs> I, I mean, it kind of does to me. It's, it's, I mean, it You're explains. Riding. It, 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 it <laughs> kind of explains the process. Yeah. Act one, <laughs> act two, <laughs> act three. Riding Miss <laughs> Daisy. Uh, if at any point when he wants to challenge one of these as well, you could do that. So okay. I, in thinking of this, Bill says he knows that's a horse. If you'd I, like me to challenge, we can do it. Look it up. We have the ability to do so. Would we like to throw a challenge in there? I don't know <laughs> that it's worth it. It's okay. He says we know not Dave hasn't it. verified. Uh, I verified half of the list, and then I got bored when one of them was two different ones. And then I was like, "This is way too much work." <laughs> right, I ain't doing this. So nobody gives a sh. <laughs> and if you do give a sh, I apologize. <laughs> it's not worth the challenge because either we all get a point or we all don't. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So but it, not, if, that's if, why I'm offering it right now. <laughs> if it, I'll save my challenge for okay. one that matters. Yeah. Well, yank my doodle. It's a dandy. That's yours. That's a horse. It says horse. That is a rock band. That's a rock band. That is a porn. 100% that is also a porno. <laughs> yank Ooh. my doodle. It, comma. It's a dandy. No, I mean that's a terrible name for a porno. I'm <laughs> yeah. not gonna lie. And and the acting wasn't much better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told. Doodle is an interesting term yeah. for a dong. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. 
Uh, Why don't you get that doodle over here? <laughs> Do me with that doodle. <laughs> I want to see your doodle. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me draw one for you. <laughs> Your fucking thing sucks. Yeesh. All right. Well, <laughs> some of these are a little bit spicier than others. 50 angry midgets. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a fun porn. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely would. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to go with a rock band. Okay. I don't think we could be so lucky to have that actually show up on the on the uh, list behind the curtain. I think it's a rock band. I agree. Three to the rock band. You are absolutely correct. Oh, man. Uh, it is five. So you're talking about like amputees and midgets and stuff. It can only be rock bands. You're not going to name a movie or a racehorse that because it's kind of offensive. And that's why rock bands get away with it. I think pornos are, are not really that worried about being offensive. Yeah, <laughs> it's not really on their... In the know. realm of triple X... I don't think what you're doing is saying, like, God, we're not going to make it on shelf space. <laughs> if we put the word midget on this box, we're not going to make it to the shelf. Certainly not the end cap. <laughs> wow. Well, right. I'll take your word. For All it. right. So uh, what my scoring here appears to show that Gabe has five, Bill has five, Scott has four. Sounds right. Does that sound right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought I screwed that up, but no, okay. No. Even if we did. We could always roll it back and find out. Bill Satry? Mm-hmm. Pink, wink. Porn. He says porn. Horse. Horse. Double horses. The correct answer is porn. Oh, oh man. For the lead. The man knows his wow. porn. Yes. <laughs> I think he's gotten every porn. <laughs> so I said we were doing this for a specific reason. Some people might have thought, well, it's because he's a dick, a dick jockey. <laughs> A disc jockey, but it turns out he is a dick jockey. (laughs) Apparently. Uh, Yeah, I mean, you probably have the most experience with the back room at Video Update. I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) I just knew it was there. You've you've been great. You've been through those saloon doors. (laughs) Let's talk about that for a second, right? So uh, porn has now infiltrated all aspects of life Mm -hmm. you know it it's pretty easily accessible to the point where as a parent i probably should oh like yeah do something to slow the the you know steamroll towards my 17 year old son's phone Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. but i don't want to do that i don't want to do i don't want to do that he's had accounts for four years yeah i don't want to do that i i like our parents were actively trying not to let us Mm -hmm. see porn Mm -hmm. Our, uh, oh, this is a great story. Oh, God. We were pretty young. So while my older brother is three years older than I am, Mm -hmm. um, there was a point where one of his friends came over, and in his backpack he had a magazine, but it was like a sports illustrator or something. Mm. But he had went through and ripped out the pictures of naked women and put it into this Uh into this sports illustrator. Yes. My dad went into this kid's bag. Uh, and like as you do and found the, this porno which is wild to me the idea that a kid would come to my house and i would open up their backpack while they weren't like, right i mean maybe you'd go like open up the backpack you know what, what do you got it's mm-hmm. playing yeah, i hear the beer the beer bottles uh-huh. yeah right <laughs> like that's one thing but like you're outside playing and dad comes storming with clippings of pussies <laughs> <laughs> As is, of course, the tradition. I mean, come on. <sighs> really? Oh, classic. Yeah. Well, well classic done. Dad. <laughs> well, Sniffed it out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's how dry the well was back then. Wow. Right. You know? Yeah. You, know? Right, you go through all this trouble yeah. to hide it. Yeah. And still gets found. He's never going to look inside NBA inside stuff. He's never going to look inside my fucking bag. <laughs> Which, by the way, George, wildly inappropriate. Wildly, wildly inappropriate. Yeah. Wildly. Yeah. I'm, so I'm still I'm still kind of stuck on a that. Little actually. Bit, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. bit. I don't even want to go through my kid's phone. I don't, oh, I'm not yeah. going through the kid that comes to the store or to the door with him. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it's, it's, it's shocking enough going through the internet history. I don't recommend that either. Your own. It's shocking. Like you wake up the next day, he's like, "Jesus, what was I doing?" What was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got weird before bed. Out. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Yeah, it must have been a hell of a party. Um, 
But yeah, the idea that like, so you had your video rental stores yes. mm-hmm. and then the idea that not all of them, but some of them would have the back room. Right. And then they always, instead of putting up the sign that said pornos, they put the saloon doors and that was the signal to everyone. Hey, this is where the, it was the international yeah. sign saloon of, doors and the beads and yeah. you couldn't mm-hmm. see through. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you ever try sneaking into into the? Room? I don't even remember it existing. Okay, well you're you're pretty young. You're pretty young. Absolutely not. Really? <laughs> I did I did a peek in there. You took a peek in the covers. I just yeah. did the did the push my like with my head push open the saloon, <laughs> the saloon door. Just sneak a little peek in there. That's it. That's all you needed that, back th- back funny. then. Look, man, funny. we look. Yeah. We were ripping all you get yeah you vaginas get, in magazines. <laughs> you're good for two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back in the porn <laughs> room. <laughs> You, you, I, you're not understanding. The well was dry. Yeah. <laughs> you put a just a little, you know, drizzle in there. We're, and we're talking good to go. sensory overload. Yes, yeah. there was a peek in there. It was like, oh Jesus, yeah. They don't hide it in there. You know what you're getting. <laughs> you don't know where to look first. Fifty angry midgets. It's right there, <laughs> <laughs> right on the shelf. I only saw forty eight of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, I believe we are on. Handle the candle. I did the um, pink wink. Oh, you did pink the pink wink. wink. Yep. Yeah, That's Scott. Scott. Okay, yeah. handle the candle. Handle the gan- look, <clears throat> candle. That's a tough one. I'm gonna go with a band. I'm gonna go with a racehorse. I don't believe you. That leaves porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go through. I think you've just said porn every time. That's why he's gotten all the porn ones, right? <laughs> I was like, God, I really hope. I really. I'm yeah. hopeful. Every <laughs> one of these. <laughs> <laughs> God, come on, poor I got it. I'm just writing them down. <laughs> uh, poor YouTube. There's no way that they're going to let Look this, that up vid- later. this video exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to our eight viewers. <laughs> eight, we, adult films, gentlemen. Adult oh, films. Yeah, excuse me. Yes, yeah. Every time we say that, I think you get a demerit. That's you? right. I said <laughs> ripping out clippings of pussy, so I think <laughs> we've crossed that threshold. Ladies and gentlemen, handle the candle is a racehorse. Oh, oh man. Gabe Johnson tying it up. I Good suck job. at this game. You do. You're down by two. Good well, job, you were too Gabe. young. You were too young for the saloon doors. Yeah. Fair. It, it, it was just never, readily available to you. You never lived in a world where porn was something that you that had, had a title. Seek out. Seek out. Yeah. <laughs> it had a title. Yeah. <laughs> none, of, none of the porns that I'm watching have clever titles. <laughs> right. And if they Not did at that day. point in time of my life, I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you almost have to actively try to avoid it. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. You're like, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not safe for work. <laughs> Not safe for work. Oh, no. Quit yeah. giving away the ending. <laughs> All right. Here's a fun one. Gabe Johnson, you are first. Mouth party. Porno. He says porno. Band. It says band. Band. The correct answer is porno. Damn. <laughs> Gabe takes the lead. Way to go, Gabe. Yeah, Bill missed out on a porno. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, one he hasn't seen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you finally found one. Well, hey. but he, he may have not seen it, but he's definitely participated. <laughs> in, and we're looking it up. In Mouth Party. <laughs> What does that even mean? Mouth party. <laughs> okay. Don't do well. let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's, stop. let's move forward. Let's, we're gonna move forward. Lots of things. We're gonna move forward. I imagine a lot of people attend the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> enough to get <laughs> enough, enough to constitute a party. <laughs> At what point does someone look at the camera and go, now it's a party? (laughs) Hey! (laughs) Six, seven, eight, now it's a party. More like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. it's like the it's like the got milk commercial only with penises. No, God. <laughs> typically, typically the news episodes are the raunchy episodes <laughs> right. of I know Bedell, but I wanted to do yeah, this to Bill. Porno episode got a little raunchy. <laughs> yeah, well, turns out, turns out when you talk about pornos. Yeah. All right. Well, this one's fun. Fat welfare moms on dust. <laughs> Oh, it's my is turn. that it's my a turn. rock band, 
a racehorse or an adult film. It's the worst adult film you've ever seen. Yeah, who would watch that? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. It. For Twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like it's. I'm like, gonna rent this one. <laughs> it's like the Biggest Loser, only <laughs> with porno. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Look at him go. <clears throat> Whose turn is it? I believe it's I Bill's. think I, I think I I think I uh, called that one um, an adult film. Okay. Over to Scott. Fat welfare moms on dust. Yep. There's no way it's a horse's name, but I'm picking horse's name because it'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. He's <laughs> <laughs> <It> is flying. <laughs> Ooh, something's really got into these this fat <laughs> welfare moms on dust. Wow. I'll go rock band. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so I absolutely... It's kink. I, it, I'm not going to kink shame on this show. I oh, swear. no, it's very specific. It's wildly if, if specific. If that's your thing. If that's your thing. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> if you're looking for it, you found it. Yep. He could have just gone by the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Nick Cannon. <laughs> Damn. He's hanging out behind the mall. <laughs> All right, Gabe, you, you are correct. That's a bad. I'm really surprised that that one went with as few points as happened there. It was obviously a band, but. I understand that. I'm, obviously. I'm, I'm too far behind and I'm going to get a chance anyways. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It is true. It is true. Oh, man. Uh, oh, that, was, that was my favorite one. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. God, chat GPT, you're the best. Uh, shuffling that baby right in there. All right, so knocking on the back door. Oh, racehorse. I think it's my turn. Yep. Band porno. porno. <laughs> <laughs> it's porno. Sc- Scotty it says porno. I say racehorse. It says racehorse. I feel like it's a racehorse. I think I would call it a racehorse. Yeah, I'm going to call it a racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. I'm glad we got there. <laughs> knocking on the back door. That's a horse. Gabriel Johnson hits 20 points. Man. Well done. All right. I got to make sure we have enough here just to be safe. Okay. All right. We're good. Rising Rocket. Uh, Horse. Says horse. 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 Triple horse. That's a horse. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know that one was that obvious. Oh, Gabe, now you have 20 points. Sorry. Take it. Uh, all right. Tight thing. So last time was my turn, but Bill went first. Go ahead. That's a horse. Says it's a horse. Was it really? Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, I I budged in front of Scott the previous time. I think we're, we're, think, I think we're gonna be okay. I honestly, <laughs> in this game, I don't think it matters if you go first or not. <laughs> <laughs> that's a horse. Oh, he says it's a horse. Uh, I think that sounds like the name of a porno. Okay. Well, we'll no, go, I mean, now we're going to. It, does, it doesn't matter if you go first. <laughs> just going to go back. Oh, yeah. Well, well yeah, you know. Uh, probably okay. not a band, but we're gonna, I'm going to say it's a band because and, the, that, that would go. be the. Bill says a band. Gabe says it's a horse, correct? Scott, you are saying. I don't even remember what it was. Rising Rocket. No, that was the horse. We all got that one. Oh, sorry. Tight Thing. Tight Thing. That's a horse. The jazz band, ladies and gentlemen, that's a porno. Oh, no pornos on that one. The porno, no pornos on that. Could one. have been a jazz. It's got started, switched to yeah. a horse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. You know, like a tight jazz band. You'll, well, could you'll get been, another opportunity. Thing. If just regular generic tight thing <laughs> is not your thing, airtight granny. Okay, where are we? Uh, it's now. Scott. Nope. It's now you. That okay. now we're back uh, on track. We back. Okay. Okay. We're back on track. Airtight granny. Mm-hmm. Porno. Porno. <sighs> Horse. The correct answer is porno. Yeah. And uh. a disturbing one at that. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping it wasn't. I, how, how is she airtight? Oh, that's a term, I guess. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that it was until I was like. Until this popped up, and then I was like, airtight granny, and I typed it in to just do my research to see, <laughs> to see what we were looking at. <laughs> I want to see what this badge looks like. <laughs> so, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, yeah, because evidently it's a specific term. Airtight is all... 
Okay, I get it. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Stuffed. There we go. Oh. Taxidermy, Taxidermy and grabby. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to spew, spew into this. Uh, I'm get it, Graham. Okay, here we go. We've got three left. So this one is just for fun to see who... I, well, Scott, you could... No, no. Yeah, Scott, you could tie it up with Bill right now and it wouldn't matter. Oh, okay. But that would be fun. <laughs> uh, Gabriel Johnson, you were first on this one. This is rock, race, or romp. Waiting to climax. Rock. He says rock. Adult film. Adult film. Romp. Rock. Two rocks and a romp. Waiting to climax is a porno. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was the best one of the bunch. I suppose that would have been right after waiting to exhale. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure it was <laughs> the source material. Do you remember that in the yes. 90s? There were yes, popular they movies would. and there was always a porno. Always a porno after after it. Always. Always. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Like writing Miss Daisy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And American booty. <laughs> and American booty. <laughs> what happens when you do this? Oh, it made a sound. That's the note buzzer. That's there for when Dave tells a terrible joke. Mm-hmm. Happens all the time. All right, Scott. It happens so much that the batteries are dead. Scott <laughs> versus Bill. Oh. To see who goes on to the championship against Gabe Johnson. The name of this either... Rock band, racehorse, or adult film? Arr! <laughs> you come out right after a hook. <laughs> Two A's, a lot of R's. And Bill goes first because Bill has more points. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to go with the... Um, I'm going to go with a racehorse on this one. Damn it. I also think it's a racehorse. Bill, you are in the finals. Arr, Arr. Arr. is a racehorse. Dang. I did Sorry. just have to type into my computer, R <laughs> porno. Arr. Now, technically, <laughs> if you type in R porno, it has a lot of links to videos that are on adult sites that are pornos, but they're, I wouldn't call them actual pornos. I would call them, if you typed in the letter Q, <laughs> and said mm-hmm. porno after it, you would also go to a lot of adult sites as well. So you typed in R porno? Yes. And it gave you a racehorse? No, 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 no. I knew it was a racehorse, but I oh, wanted to make okay. sure it wasn't a porno. Gotcha. Because if it's a band, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so there was a por- yeah. the porno that came out after uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I was thinking <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> it wasn't named R. It, it had a different name, but it was but kind of... Pirates it, of the Caribbean? It, it, was, it, was a, it was a high-budget porno for the time. <laughs> the two early 2000s but uh it was filmed on a very specific ship and i went to tall ships in duluth once oh no and i toured the ship <laughs> that the pirates of the caribbean porno were shot on. when you were walking around did you go i feel like i've been here yeah deja vu <laughs> deja vu the was it like, a was it like, I was going to say, was it like a movie theater floor? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> There's another more. <laughs> like the floor on the old Blue Ox. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right, Bill Satry. Bill Satry and Gabriel Johnson. All right. Here we go. The last question is, and Gabe, you will go first. Mm-hmm. Is this a... Rock band? You're not going to make the last question a rock band. A rock band? <laughs> I'm going to get this porno. A race horse <laughs> or a porno. <laughs> I, the, GPT, we, we've already established this. This is a random schmattering. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, let's see what you got. Butts up, Doc. Ooh, that would be a nice race horse name. Wouldn't it, though? I'm going to go racehorse. He says racehorse. Bill? Well, I can't say that now, can I? That would be anticlimactic, even if I think it's right. And Scott might get a chance to steal here. Yeah. Um, it is an adult film. Bill Satry, you oh, are the winner. The king of the pornos. The king of, of the pornos knows his porn. <laughs> Butts up, Doc. Butts up, Doc. <laughs> 
Oh, Bill? No. But now. You have won the game. <laughs> Go ahead and say something to your fans. Thank you and congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> you are one pathetic loser. Thank you and congratulations, of course, is not correct. <laughs> Hello and hey, congratulations. congratulations. Bill Satry, after all that porno talk <laughs> and you showing your true colors, <laughs> which is evidently nothing but white. <laughs> Lots of gratitude. You are the loser and I am the winner. Hello and congratulations to our longtime <sighs> listeners. Uh, that's a pretty fun game. I like yeah. the idea. We may have exhausted most of the good racehorses. <laughs> Band names, there's an endless supply yeah. of them. Yeah. I did find it interesting. One of the things I that I... There's l- a pretty big supply of pornos, too. <laughs> yeah. That goes without saying. Anything is a porno. I that, mean, how many people have named their band after watching a movie and gone... We're going to name this is a great name for our band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of puns in the band world, a lot of puns in the, uh, you know, yeah, in the poon world. Mm-hmm. Um, and turns out a lot of puns in the in the racehorse world as well. I, I think racehorses are interesting. One of the things I learned in this process is that a lot of times they'll name it based off of the heritage. So okay. the mother and the father. Oh, yeah. And so I, I'm trying to think. I think it was Adios Pantalones was was that. It was like the the father was something and the mother was something, and that was what they came up with. Interesting. Up the which is a cool idea. I had, didn't know that was a thing in the racehorse world. Uh, the, the, they keep so many records on on, race, yeah. on racehorses. It's, it's amazing to me uh, how... They do a better job of doing lineage of racehorses <laughs> than we do. Of people, yeah, that, by yeah. far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you start looking at like your own heritage, you go back to yeah. great grandfather, and then beyond that, yeah. we don't know much. It's a little sketchy. It really fast. Yeah. Isn't that crazy how that happens? Yeah, like well, we also live quite a bit longer. Well, and. We, you know, I'll I'll stop that line of talk. We don't I, have people breeding us. That's what I was gonna. I was gonna go there. I was gonna go Fair. there, and then I stopped. Take that point. Yeah, uh, but it's just interesting that we know a lot about oh, Dave Bedo. His great grandma was an Indian. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, she was. I know. Uh, like great great grandma. I'm yeah. Showing your lineage. My lineage. But yeah, I think it's crazy. There's a there's an interesting world that I don't participate in. We do have a racetrack in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we just have the one, don't we? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a Canterbury. great, it's a great time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Canterbury. Yeah, Canterbury. Is it Canterbury Downs? Is that the f- still, still is. the full yeah. name? Yeah, it's weird how you know, like KFC is just KFC now, but mm-hmm. Canterbury Downs is still Canterbury Downs. I thought they would have just Go reduced it. Yeah, <laughs> reduced it to nothing by now. Canterbury. It's the horse track. Yeah, so my grandpa was big into betting on things. And so when we were kids, we would travel around with them uh, in the RV. Mm-hmm. And we went on a long trip to California uh, when we were really little, really little, really little, really little um, six or seven years old. But we stopped at multiple racetracks. So I, as a young kid, got experience with Greyhounds, uh-huh. which was pretty freaking cool yeah like i you know i understand like you know these animals don't necessarily have the greatest lives uh, the thing with greyhounds especially horses the greyhounds that they, they sit around that's what yep. they do yep yeah and then until they go you put really a rabbit fast. out until you put a fake rabbit out and then it's, they go really fast as then, a kid it was the coolest thing in the world like, like horses they're just like go and you know yeah. there's a guy on them and they go jockey yeah 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 but for the dogs it's like watching that rabbit go around the track oh like oh jesus this is actually pretty freaking exciting i understand grandpa why you want to spend all your money on this (laughs) and why you're a degenerate gambler evidently because you've taken all of the children (laughs) with you to the racetrack yeah we were gonna go to the petting zoo but i wouldn't say we did it like a ton but i would say I, i remember at least three times as a young child being at the racetrack yeah uh horses and and greyhounds which is and maybe part of it was like hey if we're gonna we're going to drive across country. We don't have greyhounds in Minnesota. God no, damn it. we don't. We, mm-hmm. we had it in Wisconsin it. for just Hudson had a had a, a hor- uh, greyhound track for a short time, but that didn't last. It, it didn't last. It well, was just across the river. I suppose. Yeah. How do you not make money on a racetrack? They found a way. Mm. It is interesting. <laughs> I mean, gamblers going to gamble, right? Yep. They'll find a way to you. Yeah, we learned that. We drove across country in an RV to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, have you ever been? So have you been to Canterbury Downs? You've, you've said you've, in, you've enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I've never been to Canterbury Downs. I've never been to the racetrack, no, for, okay. for racing. Well, maybe if for they, music, but not for racing. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, maybe if they put some pornos on the shelves, there, <laughs> that might help. You'd no, be I've, there I've more been often. to the racetrack a few times, and it's it's a fun way to lose a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Went Forget. to the black, went to the poker tables one time afterwards, and uh, I was a little tuned up, and ended up getting getting kicked out. You can't say oh, the f word. Amazing. You can't say the f word <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. at the card tables at Canterbury. So don't do that. Now you know. Who'd you say it to? You only get about six warnings. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't. I was just swearing at my cards, like oh, they're swearing at the draw, like not the dealer or any other players or anything. But (laughs) you can't express kicked you out. Vulgar disappointment. Interesting. Mm. You know, kick me off the table, not out of the sure. Well, yeah, yeah. They still want your money. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) It's interesting. Like this, sir. Excuse me. Pick your vice. You may booze. Yes, you, you may can, gamble. <laughs> you can be blackout drunk and gamble all of your money here. Just don't swear. <laughs> that lang- that's where we draw the line. <laughs> that language is beneath us. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, ever have you? Never. So you're not a gambler either. Nope, I'm not a gambler. Nope. I, I people will try to make bets with me. Like, mm-hmm. well, I'll bet you this or that. Yeah. And I, I will never, unless I know for sure. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if you ever bet me something and I accept your bet. No, you're going to lose. Yeah, you you're not a gambler. You're a winner. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you a gambler? Um, occasional. Okay. Pull tabs are fine. Pull tabs are fine. I don't mind pull tabs for like twenty bucks or yeah. so. Yeah, uh, it keeps it keeps it under under check. But so let's talk pull tabs we, real quick because most people every week for ten years. Yeah, that's I can't different. Say you don't like gambling. No, that's well, I we did that, and I I am on record as saying that's how I bought my Xbox 360. I had. I was very specific about how I played that game of poker, and it was to take the money away from the people that weren't paying fucking attention. So I slowly each week walked away with 20, 40, 60 bucks, and then eventually bought an Xbox 360 off right of on. it. So I, and I'm open about that. I, I, everyone else was getting drunk and mm-hmm. people were being stupid, and there were a couple of really good players that you learned to just pay attention and be careful with. And then there were the other dudes that it's just a friendly game. Gabe, I thought this was a friendly game. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> yeah, that's Gabe's brother, <laughs> <laughs> who I would then, who then I announced to that I bought an Xbox 360. Thanks for the Xbox, Tad. Yeah, thanks for the Xbox. But, uh, so I'm I'm similar to Scott. I so pull tabs is interesting. You brought it up, so let's yeah. let's like explain to people that don't know what pull tabs are. Is in Minnesota we have rippies or pull tabs, mm-hmm. which. It's kind of like a slot machine, only it's paper. three pieces of paper that you tear, and then if things line up like a slot machine, you can win money. The payout on them, uh, a box has 3,600 tickets, yeah, and the payout on it makes roughly six to $800 for the establishment that, that has it. Mm-hmm. So if you win, you'll win like 150 bucks or 200 bucks or something. Well, nowadays, with two dollar tabs, you win like 600 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. in those boxes, we'll make more money for the establishment as well. But uh, in Minnesota, all of that gambling is charitable gambling, um, and it's what runs charity. It's what runs things. charity. Yeah, it's how yeah. these charities make their money. And I run a nonprofit. We don't do charitable gambling ourselves, but in order to run our events, like the Fourth of July. That's what pays for those events. Sure you, does. You get your organizations that make good money off that, and then they have to spend it for charitable causes, and that's where that stuff goes is back into the community. It's actually a really cool idea, yeah. and I'm glad that Minnesota does it that way, and I hope that Minnesota continues to do it that way. Of course, because the state of Minnesota takes a huge chunk and right and off more, the top, and more, They're taking more now, and they're trying to take it away from the charities, but I don't think people realize how much money goes into communities off of that. Yeah. You know, thank you to the people that are just degenerates. But as a bartender, <laughs> as a bartender, yeah. pull tabs were the best because oh, tips. if I've got time to count them out for you uh, and you win, people will tip you out on it. And I never had to, to put money in the pull tab box because I could win just from standing there, giving mm-hmm. them to you, and for then sure. saying, oh, there's a winner in here. I hated doing pull tabs as a bartender. Really? That's good well, money, Well, because I wasn't just a bartender. I was also a server. Sure. So... And, yeah. and people that That's are playing too, yes. pull tabs, they're, they want their fucking pull tabs and they're dicks. now. Well, you just get, you just get <laughs> really you, you get really clear with people, and you just say, mm-hmm. "Here's the deal: like, yeah. you are the last priority." Right, and you just tell it right to their face. Mm-hmm. 
And that's the way that you lose your tip. But, yeah. but especially when I'm last priority and then somebody who's new comes into my box and you give them the winner. That happens. Oh, that no. happens. However, uh, on a slow night of bartending, sure. it's fantastic. Oh, You'll yeah. make 60 yeah, bucks easy, off of... Easy money. Yeah, 60 bucks off of just letting somebody waste their money. Yeah, but when I'm like <laughs> trying to run food and, yeah, run, yeah. and run drinks to these tables yeah. and I got people just sitting there just like tapping the table, like getting uh, really impatient. Dude, they like, get so fast. Fast. Knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> knock it off. Yeah, we just say I'm that too. fucking busy. There's there's one <laughs> way to... pull tabs at the pizza place? <laughs> yeah. no. Would you like to? We've we've talked about maybe getting doing like the electronic ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's cool. Talk to me later. Yeah, get a Baja <laughs> box. <laughs> So I uh, I'm not a huge gambler. I don't I don't do the casino. Mm-hmm. I just I will go in. I'll spend twenty bucks, and then after that, I'm like I'm no longer enjoying myself. I don't like giving away my money. <laughs> so I've learned that that experience isn't really for me. Um, I do like fantasy football and stuff. I like that, but there's a little bit of control to it. I do think poker is a little bit different. You have a little bit so of control. Skill. There's some well, skill there's involved a, in that too. Poker, you can set the odds slightly better in your favor by not being stupid mm-hmm. like you can't make it oh that's the skill well you, the skill is just not being dumb to start mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. especially like no no limit home hold them mm-hmm. it's just what are your starting cards and the system is just bet consistently on when those are high percentage cards and always bet the same amount you go every time your high percentage cards come up you bet the same amount on those ever no one knows they just know you have decent cards but they have no idea what your cards are sure and then from there, just don't be stupid. Play the odds. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I, gambling's interesting though, and I've never. It's the one vice that I don't have because I'm, dude. It's I, the only one that I don't. One. Absolutely, all the rest of them. That, that and, and strip clubs. I well, uh, don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> I like pussy. <laughs> I just don't like looking at it and going, well, I can't have that. So, as you know. Uh, but yeah, it's weird. Like everything else, you know, I'm a consumer. I like to consume, mm-hmm. you know. So, you know, I, I, in college, we had readily accessible gambling. It sounds like <laughs> pornography. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, but but you know that yeah. also had uh, the downside to it too. Where when you're in college, you don't yeah, have a lot of money, money, so. You know, now that you're a little older, you know, then yeah. it, you lose a hundred bucks. Oh, well, well. Mm. When you're in college, you lose a hundred bucks. It's like yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was coming here to get grocery and rent money. <laughs> 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 I think it'll be interesting to see where Minnesota goes because now sports betting is still illegal in Minnesota. It will be interesting to see what happens when sports betting finally makes its way here. The tribal nations will never allow. I, it. I know that. Well, the tribal nations won't allow it, but the tribal nations also don't ha- own the right to it. Right? There's this attitude that that is solely the right mm-hmm. to that, and I don't agree to that. Um, I personally don't necessarily desire it because I, that one does make me a little nervous. Mm-hmm. Sports gambling does make me a little nervous because oh, I would buy the most ridiculous parlays yes. every weekend and, and just I never win. And I would yes, and <laughs> I would five bucks could make me four thousand dollars if I hit on these twelve things. <laughs> ridiculous money, and then you're just chewing your nails <laughs> on that last one. I I that's one where I would I know myself and I would think I'm way smarter than I am. I would I would convince myself that I know what the f is going on and I would have no idea. So all right, ladies and gentlemen, should we get out of here? I think that was a, a pretty fun episode. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Not too bad. Uh that game we'll we'll do again another time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill, I'm sorry that uh, when you come on here we try to be as inappropriate as possible. That's kind of my the fun that I have with you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that we did like candy. The one yeah, time. but then this fuck starts talking about dongs. <laughs> no, you never I did not. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was bananas. Sorry. Same thing. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Bill Satry, thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and also, thank you for the victory. Uh, yeah. The Boutros Boutros. Yes. And Gabriel Johnson. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back next week. Uh, we're going to do the news again. So we're going to double up on inappropriate pretty okay. hard. Uh, and mm-hmm. then we're going to come back with a draft day. So we're going to get that prepared. And then we are into 2005. So I have watched V for Vendetta. Mm-hmm. I have watched Batman Begins. So those will be on my list there. Uh, 2005, I'm finding, is not comedy-wise huge, but movie-wise, a lot of good movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 
Uh, Bill, any favorite films from that time frame? From 2005. I, well, anywhere in that time I'm, frame. I'm just trying to remember. So comedy wise, where what, I was as the I was I was back here. So well, Bill. Yeah. That's when Pirates was released. That's when Butts Up Doc was uh, released. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that, oh Pirates, that's that's the one we watched. Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. Well, that would have been like the second one or the third. No, the the porno based on oh. Pirates. Oh. It was called Pirates. <laughs> it's called Pirates. <laughs> yeah, I looked it up. Oh, that, you got to be careful with What's that. What's it called? Pirates. That's it. That's it. Look it up. Like an exclamation point or anything? No, it's not even like Sid Meier's Pirates. <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> But pirates. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Shoot us over uh, stuff from 2005, and we'll get that into the mix. Uh, Treasure my chest. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Hey. Absolutely would love to do one more audience suggestion. So okay. uh, if you're an audience member, shoot one of those over to us. I would love to get one into the mix that we normally wouldn't yeah. do. Tell us to watch 40-Year-Old Virgin. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. And with that, we're done. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad, no. I love having you back. So we'll just get you right into the mix. Right on. Right in the mix. We'll put you right back in. What would you like to do on the podcast? Oh, man. The game. The game is fun. Okay. The games are fun. Yeah. I love the games. I love the games. Those are always fun. Okay. Now, if I could just remember how to do the ending and nope. not screw it up. Don't want you <laughs> what to. What do you say? Hello and congratulations. Okay, hey, there you go. Yeah. That's big. Oh yeah, but there's no pressure on me. No, now. that's why it's <laughs> yeah, but it's but it's, it's setting muscle in. memory. Yeah, it's yeah. so interesting. Actually, it's memory memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the ending. Uh, it is interesting though that the, how we just ended up with that. Right. right, like it where was, did it come from? Yeah, he, I he, said he just it one time. It up. Yeah, I fucked <laughs> up one time. I, I, you're supposed to say something to your fans. Yeah, and, and I don't even know what we were saying before that. Just no clue. Yeah, we we, we didn't have like a say. I think you were allowed to just say something yeah, to your yeah. fans. Yeah, it was like an opportunity for you to like give a drop. Yeah, you yeah. well you so you said hello to your fans and then you congratulated them. <laughs> yes, and for we being were like, your what fans. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, like most things in our podcast, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but it has turned into the coolest thing that we have because it's just it was so it absurd. It just lives on. Yeah, it was so absurd and it's so absurd that nobody gets it. Mm -hmm. Right. And if they do it's it's exciting that they got it right. But most of the time like now our listeners are prepared and waiting for you to get it wrong. Right. And it's satisfying every fucking time. No, I, mm -hmm. Oh, I, I time. pumped my fist. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> and I don't know why thank you came in instead. Yeah. It, I, everyone, everyone says thank you and congratulations. It, that is what's funny about it is it is always thank you and congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gratitude. That's what it gets you. Yeah. A lot. All right. And after it's all over, you say, oh, what a lovely tea party.